Hi, my name is Vicky and this is Wet Coast Gardens. Um, I'm just starting up and there's two more days till the last frost date. Yay! So I can get all my little starts outside probably in actually another month or so, just so it warms up a little bit more. But I can start planting some of the more cold hardy varieties outside pretty soon. So that'd be stuff like the bok choy, the kale, the broccoli, some peas, that sort of thing. The reason why I can't really plant other stuff out quite yet, even if the last frost date is coming right up close, is because although it's not going to freeze anymore, it's still really, really wet. I live on the west coast of British Columbia, Canada. Technically we're zone 8, at least this little section is. Um, it varies between about zone 6 and zone 8 in this area. and. It rains a lot. We're in an area that's called a temperate rainforest, meaning it's a rainforest, so it rains, and it's temperate, it means it's cold. Not like super, super cold, but like not like your normal idea of a rainforest, which is nice and warm and tropical and full of monkeys. We have a lot of just green. It's great, but the reason there is so much green is because it is so wet. Um, I'll just quickly have, let you have a look outside and you can see what I'm talking about. So, that is the view from my desk. You can see downtown Vancouver, and you can see there's just trees, even in the city, right? Those trees get really big. So, yeah, it rains, it's wet. Um, generally, if you plant directly in the ground this early in the year, the seeds will just rot. You won't really get anything out of them. You could treat them, but I'm cheap, and I like to try to do things organic, and I'd rather just wait a few weeks, and then it just grows better anyway. So... Typically the types of things that grow really well here, leafy greens, uh, kale, broccoli, bok choy, that sort of stuff. Peas do really well, um, beets, carrots, tomatoes and bell peppers. I love trying to do it, never really worked out that great, just because we don't have the heat that we need in the summertime. It only really gets up to about 30 degrees Celsius. And that's not that hot, that's like 85 or something Fahrenheit. But then again, in the winter, it only gets down to like minus 10 Celsius, which is like 15 degrees Fahrenheit, so not a whole lot of variation. So yeah, join me on my adventures of uh, summertime gardening, and hopefully I'll be able to get outside soon, because I need my vitamin D, and rain is sad. And I want to go play in the dirt. Well, I'm going to head out now and go to work. Because i got to make some money somehow. Just a little. Don't need much. Not if you're growing your own food. And that should do it. Next time I will show you around, show you what I've got growing. Um, I've set up a self-watering system. Just for pop bottles and bits of denim and stuff. Because I will be going away for a week or so, and they're all babies, and I don't want them to die. And yeah, so yeah, I'll introduce you to everybody later, when I get back. Maybe tomorrow or the next day or something like that. And it should be good. Okay, so, if you want to see what's going to happen for the rest of the year for me, subscribe. Because I'm fun. Yeah, okay. And should be good. So, right now I've only got a guy, I've got a guy in here that's about 60, so 60 odd square feet, so it's not very big. And then I've got another garden at my parents' place, which is about 200 and something square feet. And I, I do the square foot gardening, so it's very compact and high production, and the more stuff you stuff in there, the less weeds you get, because lots of rain means lots of weeds. So yeah, should be good.
Look forward to seeing you. Bye.